Hey everyone, this is Red Ranger. Hope you're doing good. First video of 2017 and I'm so excited because I'm unboxing the smallest camera I've ever unboxed on this channel and it's the GoPro Hero Session 5. So before we start the unboxing and first impression of the GoPro Hero Session 5, I just wanted to thank you for 2016 because this channel has grown so much and I'm uh, excited about the fact that people are starting to ask more and more questions in the comments. Uh, a lot of people are liking the videos. Some people dislike the videos and that's totally fine. And you guys are providing me with a lot of content and comments, which is very, very cool because that gives me ideas about new videos and some value that I can bring to your creative life. I have so many cool goals for 2017 about this channel. I want to make sure that I'm bringing the most value out of it, that I bring you inside my head when I think about photography and now videography so stay tuned again if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button because 2017 I'll definitely be uh, bringing more and more content to this channel so here it is guys this is the hero session 5 from GoPro this is my first GoPro ever and I'm really excited about that one because I will be able to do some first person shooting or sort of first person view uh, on my street photography. So this is something that Pablo Strong, I really highly recommend his channel. If you want to follow his channel, just click here or I'll put it in, this, in the description below. But uh, he gave me the idea of putting a little GoPro onto my camera body. So I'm planning on using it with the X-Pro2 on the hot shoe here, the, the, the flash mount, so I can give you guys a perspective of uh, you know street photography and how I position myself, what type of people I meet when I do street photography, and it would also be good for uh, travel as, a, as an action cam, but also as a little you know vlogging uh, kit. So without further ado, let's see what's in the box of the GoPro Hero Session 5. For uh, those of you who are asking, uh, themselves why I chose the session over the uh, the regular five the hero five um, it's because of portability that's that for me is a huge thing uh, the whole reason why I sold my Nikon kit and my flashes and my big lens and I want uh, I went on to Fuji it's because of the portability and also uh, quality so here's the box that the GoPro hero session 5 comes in and what you get is obviously the camera that's attached to a little box, white box here. So if we go into the box and see what's in there, you have your manual, of course. And I, I think this is, this is a, a really like quick uh, start guide. This is not the full manual, uh, but you'll be able to get you know the, the primary settings. You get your GoPro stickers if you want to tell the world that you're using GoPro. Uh, for me, it's it's my first GoPro, so I'll, I'll definitely uh, have a look at these little manuals here. But of course, there's tons of online tutorials that you can follow. So in the box too, what do we have? We have the USB, and this is a USB-C uh, uh, type of uh, cable here. So a couple of GoPro's uh, users are a bit uh, mad about that because it's uh, it's a new connection. But for me, again, this is my first GoPro, so I'm, I, don't, I don't really care. And this is a USB connector on the other end. So this is to charge your GoPro and to transfer if you're not using the Wi-Fi function. These are little mounts that you can put on a helmet or you can put virtually anywhere. It can stick it. This is 3M uh, sticker, double face here. So you can put that on here and then put your GoPro on it. What else? What else is in that little white box? I think that's it. That's really it, actually. So then you have the camera itself. And I think if you unscrew that, we'll be able to take the camera off. Yeah, there you go. So this is the mount that will be used to tilt the camera and to put on this little thing here. But uh, the camera itself, a uh, couple great features that I'm really excited about. The first one is the fact that, well, you can see it, it's so small and I'll be able to put it on top of my uh, camera here. So I'm waiting for the adapter that I just ordered on Amazon. And so it'll be sitting there and I'll be taking photos and recording right before I take the shot. Again, thank you so much Pablo Strong for the tip here because that's a great idea. Uh, it comes with a little chassis here. So if you go up like that, you can remove the camera by pressing like that 
and then you get your uh, GoPro. It's waterproof, so that's the other thing. The body here, the X-Pro2 or the X-T2 that, that I'm filming on right now are both weather sealed body and the lenses that I use are almost all weather sealed. Uh, not the 56 and not the 18 to 55, but all the rest of my lens are weather sealed. So uh, this is this can go actually to 10 meters in the water, so that's pretty cool. Uh, a couple of other features, this shoots 4K, this is massive. Uh, this is 4K in this little tiny uh, square so this is very cool not sure I'm gonna be using 4k right off the bat but it's always good to know that you have 4k at your disposal if you want to do some uh, some cool 4k shots it also shoots uh, 4k at um, 60 frames per second uh, and also at 1080p at up to 90 frames per second so you can do some nice slow-mo shots with this little action cam it takes 10 megapixels uh, pictures I'm not planning on using it for uh, photography but hey who knows sometimes it's just you you need to get the shot you have that in your hands and you know let's just take the picture with that so like I said waterproof up to 10 meters uh, so that's about 33 feet and then you have your one button here a bit like uh, the iPad right so you control everything with that you start the recording you uh, stop the recording but one other neat little feature that I'm gonna be trying is voice control so I'm gonna insert a video right now where I try it, so I'll be able to see if it's responding well to my voice. If it's like Siri, uh, sometimes it's not doing uh, well, well with my voice, with my French accent, but hey, we'll see. We'll see how that one goes. I heard some pretty cool thing about um, the voice control on that. And then uh, one very key feature for me, and this is why I decided to go with the Hero 5 session uh, and not the Hero 4 session. It's all about the stabilizations. And in the Hero 4, Four session you didn't have that that one they actually got a way to stabilize the footage that's being taken by this camera so that will come very handy when I put it on my X Pro 2 and I'm walking around and taking some shots and taking some photos it's gonna help smooth the uh, footage that I'm gonna be uploading to this YouTube channel and then I'm gonna insert the picture so pretty uh, pretty solid camera again there's also the app of course that you can download that you can use to see because this has no screen uh, unlike the Hero 5 where you can actually can see what you are filming that one doesn't have any screen so there's a neat little app that you can download and you can see what the camera sees so there you have it the GoPro Hero Session 5 this will be a neat little device when it comes to my street photography I'll bring you guys like I said closer to the streets of Montreal or the places I'm traveling going to New York next week and then to LA in two weeks so I'll definitely be bringing that little baby so stay tuned to that channel if you want to know when the next video will drop hit that subscribe button you can also activate the notifications to make sure you're uh, being noticed when my video comes up uh, if you like what you're seeing consider giving it a like or sharing it with someone that might be interested because when you hit like this algorithm on YouTube helps put this video in front of other people that might be interested so enjoy life be happy and enjoy your gear cheers